Um, so given this new phase of the pandemic, um, CDC launched a new tool to monitor COVID-19 community levels based on existing data. And so for this tool, CDC looks at a combination of three data points um, to determine the COVID-19 community level. Um, uh, that's new COVID-19 admissions per 100,000 persons in the past week. Also the percent of staffed hospital beds that are occupied by COVID-19 patients. And also the total new COVID-19 cases per 100,000 people in the past week. And so the new COVID-19 admissions and the percent of staffed inpatient patient beds occupied represent the current potential for strain on the health system. And then those data on new cases act as an early warning sign for potential increases in health system strain in the event of a, another COVID-19 surge that could happen um, due to you know, potentially a, another variant that could emerge. And, and so using these data on um, the COVID-19 community level for each uh, county across the US is classified as low, medium, or high. As you can see on this slide, they're designated using a color-coded scheme um, as green, yellow, and, and orange respectively. And so of note, um, the COVID-19 community level is going to be based on the higher of the two when it comes to the new admissions and the hospital bed metrics. But this really is a straightforward streamlined system that helps us document what are those key levers that are going to inform and what are the data that are going to influence those recommendations when you need to go from um, a different levels, whether it be the, the low, medium, or high as the um, uh, COVID-19 um, pandemic continues to evolve. Um, next slide, please. And so, as I noted earlier, um, the COVID-19 community levels can help communities and individuals, in particular, make decisions about their local context and also their, their unique needs. And so, to help with this, um, CDC has created an interactive map on our website. And you can get to this by going to um, www.cdc.gov slash COVID-19, um, no hyphen needed between COVID and 19. I mean, if you scroll to the bottom of the page, it will give you a, a little input screen and you can put in information. Um, you just need to submit your state and your county, um, and it will show the current community levels for your county um, based on those three data points that I, I noted earlier. Um, and, and this COVID-19 community level map is updated regularly with the newest data available. Um, and so we encourage you to, to check it routinely to make sure that you make that fully informed choice about the, the, the best way to protect yourself from COVID-19, depending on um, those various um, data points that, that are informing the, the level that has been designated for that respective um, county. <laughs> 